Here's the problem we are going to solve. How many revolutions will a car tire P20565R16 complete over the life of the tire? When framing a problem, we identified how the life of a tire is measured, how to determine the distance traveled in a single revolution of a tire, and how to read a tire code. Don't forget that the life of a tire is determined by minimum legal tread depth. Most passenger cars have a tread depth of 8 millimeters when new and go down to 1.5 millimeters at the end of their life. And most tires will last for 30,000 kilometers under normal driving conditions. As we solve this problem, we need to operate under the following assumptions. Tire pressure does not affect diameter. A tire is not a perfect circle and the rolling radius is 96% of the actual radius. A tire is subjected to even wear over the entire distance. Here we have a tire. We will use the tire code to solve the problem. The first number is the width of the tire in millimeters. In this case, 205 millimeters. The second number is the profile. It is the ratio of width to height, in this case, 65%. Therefore, tire height, H, equals 65 divided by 100 times the width, W. For this tire, 65 divided by 100 times 205 equals 133 millimeters. The third number is the diameter of the wheel rim measured in inches, which is 16. Now we need to find out the diameter of this tire. This is equal to the rim diameter plus two times the tire profile. If we assume one inch equals 25.4 millimeters, then the rim diameter for this tire is 16 inches multiplied by 25.4 millimeters per inch, which gives this tire a 406 millimeter rim diameter. The total wheel diameter is the rim diameter plus twice the tire profile height, in this case 406 millimetres plus 133 millimetres plus 133 millimetres equals 672 millimetres. Circumference C equals pi times diameter D, which equals 2,112 millimetres. The rolling radius equals 96% of the radius due to normal loads on the tire. This assumes a standard load causes a reduction in the diameter. Circumference C equals 0.96 times 2,112, which gives 2,027.52. This number is rounded to 2,028 millimetres. Therefore, one revolution in a new tire is 2.028 metres. As the tread depth changes with wear, the diameter of the tire and the distance covered by one revolution will also change. As the tread depth changes over the life of the tire, we can use the terms maximum diameter and minimum diameter to refer to the two extremes. Since the diameter is not constant, it is appropriate to use the average tire diameter. The minimum diameter is the maximum diameter less twice the change in tread depth. The average diameter is half the sum of the maximum diameter and the minimum diameter. Let's put some numbers to this calculation. We determined earlier that the maximum diameter is 672 millimeters. From this diagram, the minimum diameter is the maximum diameter less twice the wear of the tread depth or 672 minus 2 times 6.5 millimetres, which gives 659 millimetres. Therefore, the average diameter is half the sum of 672 millimetres and 659 millimetres, which is 665.5 millimetres approximately. This means the total length of one revolution would be a new rolling length of pi d, giving pi times 665.5, which is 2,091 millimetres. 
the rolling circumference is 96% of 2,091, which is 2,007 millimetres. Each revolution of the tyre, on average, travels 2,007 millimetres. Finally, to the second part of our problem. How many rotations does the tyre take to travel 30,000 kilometres when we take tyre wear into consideration? Let's use metres as the distance in our calculations here. If a tyre lasts 30,000 kilometres, this converts to 30 million metres. The number of revolutions is the total distance travelled by the tyre divided by the distance travelled through one revolution. 30 million metres divided by 2.007 metres per revolution equals 14,947,683 complete revolutions. We approximate this to 15 million. Does this seem reasonable? How would you know? We can check this through estimation. Interestingly, earlier in the problem, we could round the value of the rolling circumference to 2 metres. This allows us to estimate the number of revolutions as 30 million divided by 2, giving an estimate of 15 million. In this explanation, we have applied a strategy of breaking down the problem into many smaller problems. This strategy can be used in everyday life to solve complex problems. You can use some of the specific skills shown here to solve the next problem.